Well, hello there, Reject Nation. Happy Monday. Listen, guys, The Maze Runner, this part three movie. I didn't put up a reaction uh, for it yesterday because I had not seen The Scorch Trials. I have now seen The Scorch Trials. It is not better than the first Maze Runner. It's a lot of questions. A lot of questions with no answers. Yay. I'm hoping this one, we finally get some answers. And I've grown to really appreciate Dylan O'Brien. So I'm actually kind of looking forward to seeing this trailer. Yay. Let's do this. What is this place? It's the maze. We don't know, we don't know, we don't know. Wicked. We were sent here for a reason. You're so close to the truth. Don't you want to know why this all happened? Yes. Yes, I do. Three years we spent behind walls trying to break out. And now we want to break back Ooh. in. All right, get shotgun. <laughs> Whoa! You can't save everyone, Thomas. This looks like Mad Max. I can try. Oh, snap! When the hell does it stop? It stops when we find a cure. There is no cure! He looks great. Thomas, you can save your friends. Or you can save us all. It's a January release. Oh, you gotta be weary of those January. Did the other ones come out in January? I don't think they did. I wonder if they're not as confident in, in this adaptation. I know the second one didn't perform as well at the box office. It's like almost double the budget and definitely didn't make it as much money as the first one. For what I can tell about this specific one, I forget a lot of the characters' names. All I remember is Thomas because, you know, he's Thomas. What I do like about this trailer is that it, it seems to have a, a different look. It has its own distinct look as compared to the other two installments. The set pieces and the action sequences seem to really be ramped up. There's one thing that I appreciate about the Maze Runner stories is that they're really big on their tension and their questions. It's kind of like a young adult version of Lost for, for me in certain aspects. That sequence with the train and the cars and the guns and the way they're dressed is really post-apocalyptic vibe. It did seem a little bit Fury Road inspired. I feel like every time there's going to be some apocalyptic cool cars and guns that people are going to immediately associated with Fury Road and that's exactly what I did right now. The way this teaser is being set up is don't you finally want to have some answers <laughs> and yes that is exactly where I'm at. I would like to finally have some answers on what's going on. The first one I thought was really damn good actually. The second one was eh but this one it's supposed to be the final one. I don't know if this is a two-parter. This might just be one movie. I, I'm hoping that's all it is. It looks like we're gonna finally get some answers. I love that in this post-apocalyptic world you know Tom Thomas, Dylan O'Brien, and the rest of the gang still looks great, you know? I, I I just can't stand that in like apocalyptic types of environments where people just look so beautiful. And I'm like, you're like in the desert. And I forget the character's name, but she's teased in the end of the first Maze Runner. You see her kind of where, you know, little fingers having a conversation with her in the Scorch Trials. But the woman at the end who's telling Dylan O'Brien, you can save your friends or you can save us all. I'm excited that they're finally going to be able to meet each other because every time we've seen her she's been on the television or she's like that you know phone hologram thing and now you know they actually get to come face to face with each other so I am looking forward to this I'm excited to finally see some answers and get some and get some solid conclusions on this I have to avoid comment boxes on this trailer because I know that this is based on a book and people love to spoil stuff. And with the first two Maze Runner movies being September releases, that kind of shows the faith the studio had in the films. When a studio's push a movie, unless it's like Blumhouse doing a horror film, they put it in January, I tend to get worried about what the film is gonna be because January is usually the month where Hollywood takes a dump and they just like, oh, let's get our bad movies out of the way in January. And for 20th Century Fox to be putting this movie out in January has me a bit concerned However, the visuals I think look like an improvement. The action sequences look really amped up. I feel like we're finally gonna get some answers. I'm, I'm at the point now where I'm like, I don't even care if the movie's that good. I just wanna know what the hell's really going on. I'll definitely check it out because you know, I've invested this much time into it. I might as well find out the ending. Didn't do that with the Divergent series, but I'll do it with this one. <laughs> anyway, guys, are you excited for Maze Runner, The Death Cure? Is Dylan O'Brien your favorite actor? Everyone loves that boy. He is so handsome and talented. Ah, and we're like the same age. 
dick. Oh wait, no, he's a year young. He's a year and a week younger than me. I hate him, but I love him. Anyway, guys, subscribe to The Real Rejects. Click that notification bell. Follow that John Humphrey on Twitter and Instagram for no reason. Check out our Patreon. Become a Patreon eject today.